In this video, we will review your warm-up question from today. The first part of the graph it asks us to identify is the vertex. And the vertex is the highest or lowest point of our graph. So looking at this graph, our vertex is right here, and we name the vertex as an ordered pair. So in this case, it will be negative 1, comma, 4. Now, the minimum, not as if it's the minimum or the maximum, the minimum is the lowest point, so it'll be something like this, where your minimum is that lowest point versus your maximum is when it's the highest point. So it'll be the highest point of our graph. So based on this, this vertex is the lowest point, so it's a minimum. For the axis of symmetry, it's a, the vertical dotted line that goes through the vertex. And we write it as an equation. So our axis of symmetry is x equals the x-coordinate, which is negative 1. Now, the point corresponding to P is the point on the other side of the axis of symmetry that matches up. So if I have P, I can go over two spaces to the axis of symmetry, go two more spaces to the other side, and I find this corresponding point. And my order pair for the corresponding point to P would be 1, 12. For Q, I go one point to the left to get to the axis of symmetry, Go one more to the left again, so it's equal distance. And I get my corresponding point at negative 2, 6. The last thing that I have to determine is the range. And the range is your possible y values. So in this case, my y values, they start at a lowest point of 4. And it only goes up and increases forever. So my range would be y is greater than or equal to 4.